Hello everyone, I've been getting some requests on how to do the iPod 5 mod, so I'm going to show how to do it. So, probably the hardest part is finding a Bluetooth transmitter that will actually work with the mod. This is a Symvatron one that I got off of Amazon. I looked and they doesn't look like they're really too available now, but you can use any generic Bluetooth transmitter as long as it will fit inside the casing. I recommend putting it behind the screen. If you try to locate it somewhere down here where the motherboard is, it's going to have to transmit through the metal back of the iPod and that just will not work very well. You'll have to cut a really big hole in the back for it to work. So if you put it here behind the screen, it can transmit through the screen, no problem. So, the audio channels are over here on these these little capacitors right here. If you'll see, I've got one soldered here. That's the left channel, that little blue wire. And here is the right channel, this green wire. And I kind of tucked this wire in and kind of swooped it around. You want this to be flush so when you go to put stuff on it, it actually all fits together. So, and can't see the back of this thing. Obviously, I have this adhesed in so it doesn't move. Um, I have a drawing, if you manage to get this particular one. This is the back. Um, you have your, this is where the battery was soldered to, so positive, negative, and then these, this was the left side channel here and the right side channel here. Now on, to determine this on a, any other transmitter, all you really have to do is take a multimeter, set it to the um, ohms function, you can take one end, put it on, you hook in a uh, headphone cable into your transmitter that you bought, put one end of your multimeter on the tip, put the other end on points on your little transmitter you bought until you find um, zero resistance. That's how you can figure out where the points are on the board that you're going to actually be utilizing if you're trying to figure out what is left and what is right. On the end of a phono jack, the tip is always the left, the middle is always the right, and then the bottom is always the ground. So, and if you find that I say anything cor incorrectly, I apologize, but I'm fairly certain that's right. Anyways, back to the iPod. Uh, the power gets soldered in. Now, I have had problems with this. I, in the past, I have put the positive here on this little guy right here right there and then I put the negative down here on this side of this capacitor Now I had a problem where the low voltage cutoff for the iPod it's like the transmitter was bypassing it and it was murdering batteries I went through like four batteries so you can also get voltage by doing either side of this capacitor so positive here and negative here and Hopefully that will fix my problem with batteries being destroyed. If not, um, I'm going to, if that happens again, I'm going to take a little slide switch and install it on the red wire and just have cut another hole in the back of the iPod so I can slide the little switch so I can completely cut power to the transmitter. Because I really love having the transmitter, but I also really hate having to change the damn batteries all the time. So, and finally, I desoldered the um, button that was on the transmitter, and I just took one of these little tack switches. It has has four little um, legs on it. You just use your ohmmeter again, and to figure out which ones you're going to use, why um, for when you hit the button, you get zero resistance. Anyway, so on this particular board, I was able to cut two of the legs off and then solder the other two onto the board itself, which you can't really see right here, but that's what I did. And then I took a little bit of carbon conductive paste, this stuff right here, and I put it on the tip of the switch, and then I put the back on, and that push the button into the um, back so I could see where I needed to drill out the back of the case. And that made it line up perfectly. So I put another hole right here. So this is 
for the switch and then this other hole will be kind of as an indicator light and then down here is just a gigantic hole from my previous button that I installed that didn't work so well so I just sealed it up with glue I'm gonna eventually just replace this hole back but anyways that is how to do this mod so here's the that again if you want to see it um, but it's very simple it just it's a little bit asinine and you have to be careful but that's it thank you